What's going on, people? Let's talk about old men giving young girls worms. Old men giving young girls worms. Now, that's an old wives' tale, an old wives' fable uh, that was taught to young black females growing up by their older black women by their moms, by their aunts, um, and they did it because that was their way of protecting their men. They did not want the young girls to take their men because you know, of course, there's cougars that want the younger boys and then there's the older men that want the younger girls, okay? Um, so, in order to protect their men, in order to instill fear in a lot of the young girls' minds, they would tell them that old men will give you worms. And to this day, to this day, there are older females that still have that belief system in their heart that old men will give young girls worms. Now, when I speak of girls, I'm not talking about underage females. I'm talking about females that are of legal age. In New York State, the legal age is 17 years of age, and it varies from state to state. But let's just say 21. 21 year old girls were always told by older females primarily in the black community that old men will give them worms. Now, I've done research on that. And I've Googled sexually transmitted worms. And there's nothing that come up under that. Actually, there's a blog, which is one of the blogs that I post on the bottom. I want you guys to read it and check it out. And even in this blog, is telling you that there's no such thing as a sexually transmitted disease worm. There's no worms that can be transmitted from old men to young women. Okay, but there are maggots that can be found in the vagina. It's rare in the United States, but yet there is such thing as females having maggots in their vagina, but it is not caused by a sexually transmitted disease from an older man. Actually, in one of the articles I've read, it's because of sex toys and certain lubricants that's used on sex toys. So if there's a female that have this rare occurrence of worms in her vagina, it's because of the fact that she or maybe another female used a sex toy on them. Okay? Now, instead of teaching your daughters that, instead of instilling a fear tactic in your daughters, why not just tell them the truth? Why not just bring your young daughters up, teach them right, prepare them uh, on how to make choices for themselves, the right choices for themselves. When I grew up in the house, I grew up in the house with uh, mainly women, okay, until my brother later on came along. I got four sisters. So I grew up in the house with four sisters. No brothers at the time. And one thing my mother always kept telling me about was the bad girls. She would call them piss tail girls, piss behind girls, hot behind girls. She always warned me about those females that's out there, those bad girls. So I grew up as a young man knowing about the bad girls that were out there. And I was very careful, very careful of the females that I chose to be with, okay? And to date, I don't have multiple baby mamas out there, okay? To be honest with you, I've never really had a sexually transmitted disease. Never. Okay? Now, um, I think it's just best for parents to teach their kids right 
And like I mentioned in that last video, um, I think that we should teach our sons because if you notice that among the younger generations now, um, it's very high with sexually transmitted disease among young people. But one thing that they don't tell you about is the high number of sexually transmitted disease um, among the older people. Okay, now there are females out there that are quick to instill that type of fear in the females about older men, but yet no one is warning their sons about the sexually transmitted disease, the truth of sexually transmitted disease in older women. Okay, because you have a lot of older women that's walking around with old diseases. They weren't always uh, angels as they try to portray themselves to be, okay? Uh, especially back in the 70s because there were a whole lot of prostitutes that were growing up in the 70s, women that sold their bodies, just like this happens to this day. Nowadays, they just use the Internet. There's the Internet, um, uh, Backpage.com. Um, all these these websites where females are selling themselves, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. These females are not displaying their naked body for nothing. Okay? But yet, they are quick to tell a lot of young girls that old men will give you worms. Which is completely far from the truth. Is far from the truth. Old men will not give you worms. Now, if that was true, how many cases do you know of, personally, where a young girl received worms from an old man? So if old men give young girls worms, don't you think that maybe the older women are walking around with, with worms too? Because the older women are with older men. These same men that these women claim to be warning the younger females about are the same men that these older women are messing with. So if the old men are giving the young girls worms, well, I guess these older women are telling on themselves. Because now they have worms. Which, in case you have to warn your sons about these old women that will give them worms because they got the worms from the older men. Okay, do you see what I'm talking about? So... So especially those of you that's in medical, that's in the medical field, how many cases do you know of that came through the hospital or even nursing home where women, younger women had worms because they dated an older man? How many can you tell me that honestly had worms? See, now there's, there's, there's a whole list of sexually transmitted diseases out there and worms is not one of them. But yet, there are women, which is a very rare case, as you will see in this article, a very rare case in the United States where somebody had received worms or got worms in their vagina, and, it, and it's not because of a sexually transmitted disease. As a matter of fact, back in the 70s, I don't know if you guys remember Donna Summer, but Donna Summer made a song, Bad Girls. Bad Girls. Talk about that. I'm sure you heard it. If you have not heard that song by Donna Summers, Bad Girls. I'm gonna find it. Actually, you can Google it off on YouTube, but I'm gonna put the link on the bottom. Listen to that song. If you have not heard Donna Summers, Bad Girls, listen to that song because even in her song, she was telling you about the bad girls, the prostitutes. So there's a lot of old women or older females walking around with ancient diseases that's walking around with old diseases that they received in their youth because they were promiscuous. They were prostitutes. They were out there selling their body, okay? And now they have diseases, herpes, in their body that they cannot get rid of. So if anything, you should be warning your sons and even your daughters because now that lesbianism is on the rise, you have a lot of women that's going down on women. You have females that's using the same sex toys as other women are using. So where are they getting these diseases from? It can't be from a man, especially worms, because it's not real. It doesn't exist. 
okay? So I think that what a lot of parents should do, especially the, 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 the women, especially within the black community, listen, stop teaching your daughters that fear tactic, that lie, and teach them the truth, okay? Now, when it comes to older men uh, dating younger girls, it's something that's always been happening. It's not a new thing. And that's why you had so many black females that would tell their daughters that old men would give them worms because they feared that these young girls were going to take their men. See, that was to instill fear in these young girls so that they didn't lose their men to the younger girls. Okay? But we're living in a time now where you have older females going after the younger boys. But see, I wouldn't teach my sons that older women would give them worms. I would teach my son to run from the older women because of the fact that a lot of them are walking around with old diseases. Diseases that they can't get rid of. That they might pass on to him. Maybe because of the fact that they have so much anger and hatred in their heart for men. So because of the fact they hate men so much, they don't mind passing that disease off to another younger man to pass on to someone else. See? So we have to make sure that we teach our children right. Now when it comes to an older man dating a younger girl or an older woman dating a younger boy, um, once they reach a legal age, then it's their choice. Your job should already be done because of how you taught them, when you raised them, you should have already taught them to make the right choices for themselves. You should have already told them to protect yourself. You should have already warned them, both the male and the female, you should have already warned them uh, against these older adults that do carry old diseases and to protect themselves. Make sure that they make the right choices, not just against diseases, but against unwanted pregnancies, against a broken heart. See, but it's gonna happen. Um, it's something that you just can't stop. Uh, you got older men going after the younger girls. You got the younger girls going after the older men. You got the older women going after the younger boys, cougars, and you have the younger boys that's going after the older women, okay? But they have to make sure that they protect themselves and they have to make sure that they make the right choices in life. And the only way that they're gonna know that is if their parents teach them right. And if your, your parents teach you right, then when you grow up, you won't even associate yourself with that type of woman or with that type of man. You would run from that. And if you happen to make that choice and decision to date an older woman, if it's a young person, then you will make the same choice and decision you would make if you were dating somebody your own age. You protect yourself. See, so when it comes to old men giving young girls worms, that's a lie, it's not true. It was to instill fear in the young girls so that the young girls wouldn't take the older women's men. Okay? Again, I'm going to repeat that again. Instead of teaching your daughters lies and fear tactics, teach them the truth and let them make choices and decisions for themselves. Not only protect them against older men taking uh, your... your uh, not only... You teach them about the younger girls taking the older men from the older women, but you teach your daughters to protect themselves so that when they make the right choices, when they make that right choice and decision, then they are held accountable for the choices that they make in life. That didn't come out like I wanted it to come out. But anyway, I said it. Maybe it was meant to be said. Okay, so I want you guys to check out these two articles that I'm going to post on the bottom. I also want you to check out the video 
uh, of Don Donna Summers, Bad Girls, okay? She was talking about prostitutes. And there were a lot of prostitutes, just like there are now, but now it's a totally different game. It's on the internet. You don't find too many women standing on the street corners, unless, of course, you go to certain states. They still do that. But in most cases, they're just on the internet. They would post uh, a profile, put their half-naked photo up there, and will put a phone number. They may have a little throwaway phone. See, they got rid of the middleman, the pimp, and they're doing it themselves. And uh, the way a lot of these females are nowadays, they don't need a pimp. Because with some of the fight videos I see where dudes be knocking chicks out, man, these chicks, man, sometimes, they, a lot of times, they don't even go down. They still get up fighting. They scrap. And a lot of these chicks can, can whoop a dude because you got a lot of weak, sensitive dudes nowadays. So they really don't need a pimp no more. They can handle themselves. Okay? So, um, again, there's no such thing as an old man giving young girls worms because if that was the case, we would hear more than quite a few cases in this day and time. I've not heard it in my, my years of existing on this planet. I have never heard a case where an old man gave young girls worms. That's only an old wives tale. Old wives fear that they feed the young girls minds to keep the young girls from stealing their men. That's where that came from. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.